Hey guys, and it's 10 days till Christmas. I am so excited. I have done all my Christmas shopping. I've wrapped all my presents, or I still have a few more to wrap this Saturday, hopefully. I've got my hair redone. I finally had my hair redone. And I've curled it today, because I just thought it would look really nice. I've had a lot more blonde in it. It's gone higher, and oh my gosh, I couldn't love it more. It just, I love it so much. And they got a little Christmassy red bow on. I just, oh, I'm so excited for Christmas. I cannot even freaking fly. Rogue One is out today and I thought I'd wear my um, Death Star necklace that I received from an Owl Crate box. This video is going to be me testing out Kylie Cosmetics. I have been wanting to do this for so long and I've just brought a whole haul for you and a um, kind of like makeup look as well. Throughout this video I'll be showing you how I created this look apart from all the foundation and concealer I already had that on before. I've unboxed it just to check I've got everything but I'm gonna unbox it again so you can see what it looks like because the box is just gorgeous. First of all the Kylie box comes like this. When you open it, it comes like this. <gasps> Big fat Kylie as soon as you open the box. Just the bold writing and the kind of like paint drip drops or lipstick drips. I guess that's what it is and I absolutely love this. The detail that's gone into the packaging of the delivery box itself. The attention to detail that Kylie has put into this is very unique. And then just after that, you have this kind of like foamy material that keeps all your makeup safe and sound. So we lift that open and we are greeted with this blinking Kylie Jenner eyes hologram card. And then on the back, you have this quote from Kylie which says, I couldn't wait, as in I, wink eye, I couldn't wait to share my new eyeshadows with you. I hope you adore them as much as I do. I love you. A lot of eyes in that one little quote. But I think that's so cute. And then you get your receipt. And then after that, you are greeted with your order. In this order, I have ordered two of the Kylie Jenner eyeshadow palettes. Oh my goodness. The first one we have is the beautiful bronze palette. Again, packaging wise, you've got Kylie's Jenna eyes winking. You have like the shade names on the back in this kind of like silvery metallic sticker and it comes out like that. You have these kind of like orange and rose gold drip drops coming from her eyes. Drip drops, drops, drops. Look at it, it's so pretty. I love how this palette doesn't have that many shimmers in it. I think it has, what, two shimmers? And the rest of them is matte. And I've always wanted one which had a lot more matte than shimmers. I mostly own shimmer eyeshadows. So this is gorgeous. And the orange in the middle, I don't have a shade like that. I'm so excited to use that shade. Next palette, we have the burgundy palette. This is the one that was calling my name. As soon as I saw that this was going to be released, I had to grab my hands on it. When it was first released, it went out of stock within like two minutes. I had no chance of getting it. The packaging to this one is kind of like this pinky metallic, whereas the other one was kind of like an orange rose gold metallic around it. This doesn't actually have the sticker of the names on the back of the box. However, when you take it out, it does have it on the actual palette, which I prefer actually because there's no point having to look at it on the box all the time. The drip drops on these eyes are like a pink metallic rose gold and gold, as you would expect from a burgundy palette. Oh my god, oh my gosh. Yeah. They sing to me. It's like, oh, oh. These are just so nice. And I have this on my eyes today. I use this one in the inner corner of my eye. This is the eyeshadow that was all over my lid and the kind of like transition shade in my crease. And then I use this gorgeous orange, which I'm guessing is called Penny, for my outer eye. And I blended that with this burgundy shade in the middle. Then to top off the eyeshadow all over, which was that one, I went over that one with the gold. And then this one here, I topped it over the outer of my eye just to give it a bit of a, a glitter shimmer on the burgundy part of my eyeshadow. The only two shades I didn't use were these two because I used this one for the eyeliner under my eyes. Overall I'm pretty pleased <laughs> I used a lot of these shades to create this look. Then I went and got myself another Kylie Jenner package and this was kind of like an impulse buy 
and a really desperate buy, I guess. My friend Aaliyah told me about this new collection called the Coco Collection coming out and we tried to get it, we tried so hard, but it sold out so fast. However, I think it was about a week later, it was re-released and my gosh, I was on it like Donkey Kong. So again, you open it and it comes up with the big beautiful Kylie and this time it's kind of like lifts it up and I was so, so excited to receive one of these babies. Oh my gosh, the amount of times I've seen this on Instagram and Twitter and I was just like, when am I gonna order one of these? I need to order, I need to order one so I can grab one of these. On the back it says, thank you so much for purchasing your Kylie lip kit. I hope you enjoy using it as much as I enjoyed creating it. I put my heart and soul into each and every kit and I want to thank you for joining me on my journey. X O X O Kylie. Receipt again and then we have the Coco collection and then I bought a lip kit as well. Let's start with the lip kit because this lip kit I wasn't sure about getting. My friend Aaliyah had bought this one and Ginger and I had already ordered Ginger and Leo, which I'll be showing you next. But I wasn't sure about Pumpkin because I wasn't sure if it was a really bright orange, but then Aaliyah got it, she compared it to Ginger and I absolutely loved it, so I had to get it. This is Pumpkin, it is freaking gorgeous. When I tried this on, so stunning. I totally recommend getting the lip kit because the lip pencil is just so nice and I just love them together. I can't imagine buying them on their own. I put the lip pencil on first and I kind of put it covering most of my lips and then go in with the um, matte lip and oh my gosh, this orange, orange matte lips. It's like my new favourite thing. <laughs> I have a lot of new shades of matte but I didn't have an orange one and when Kylie was released Ginger and Pumpkin I was like, girl, you have gotta get the orange. It's just right on my street. Then we have the gorgeous Kylie collection. Oh, I'm so glad I was able to grab one of these because they're selling for like hundreds of pounds or dollars on eBay and such like. The packaging guys, the packaging. It's all about the friggin' packaging. The fact that these are full size as well just makes my day even better because this was so cheap. How much was this? Was this like $42? Compared to like one lip kit that's like what, $22, $24, you know? Comparison wise, it's a bargain. You get three matte shades and then one shimmer shade. You get Class Gorge and Kerr, then the matte shades, and then you get Damn Gina. Damn Gina as the um, shimmer lip gloss. Shimmer lip gloss is more opaque than I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be really sheer, but it looks really nice on, on top of all of these shades, like every single matte in here. I just love them. I had to get them. And yeah, it's just, it's just stunning. Like, Oh my gosh. And the last two lip kits I bought were Leo and Ginger. Yeah, Ginger. I absolutely love these shades. I have Leo on my lips today and Ginger is just the nice kind of like cooler orange shade. It's a nice orange nude. I love it. And the lip kits again, the lip pencils are amazing. The quality of the products are amazing. I did hear to begin with when Kylie released her first set of lip kits that they weren't brilliant, the formula wasn't brilliant. So I wanted to hold out until the formula got better and she released more things and now she has and I'm just so glad to be on the Kylie Jenner bandwagon. The thing I really like about these um, liquid lipsticks is I cannot feel them at all on my lips, like I'm moving them and they just don't I just can't feel them. I can feel them like inside my lips, like the furthest bit into my mouth. That's probably the only bit I could feel. They're so comfortable to wear. Like I really didn't realise how good these lip kits were. They're so, just so amazing. Um, I do believe that the uh, kind of darker tones are a little bit patchy compared to the nuder tones but they're so opaque and they're so matte and lovely and everything that I want. Kylie Jenner, you have outdone yourself. That is the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and comment below. I have a Christmas Q&A video. Get your questions in soon, either Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you are. Comment any questions below. Use the hashtag crazykins and I will sure to try and answer every one of your questions. That is all I have to say and I will see you again soon. Love you. Bye. <laughs>
knows how deep it goes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry, I've been I've recently been to see Moana, the Disney film, and oh my gosh, it's amazing. The applicator looks so nice. It looks so small and not fluffy. I don't like fluffy applicators. Oh my goodness. This smells gorgeous.